Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about creating Tableau Server on AWS EC2, um, showing you all the steps that it takes. And we, I won't be doing the entire full spectrum of uh, um, highly available installation, um, creating multiple nodes. Um, it's just going to be a single node, um, showing you how to install it, um, showing you how to get the 12 month free trial AWS um, and how to quickly deploy the EC2 um, VPC. So let's get started, okay? Thank you. Okay, um, I just shared my screen with you guys. Um, so you can just follow as I every, every step I do. And um, this will just be a perfect way to see exactly what I am doing and when. So let's just start from Google. Google.com is a web browser, Chrome browser. Um, you type AWS. Um, you see it says free trial. You click free trial. Create a free trial. Um, because I already have an account. So it just logs me in. Let me sign out right now. Um, then back to Google again. AWS. Just so I just want you to see how you can create a free account and launch EC2 and everything like in a matter of um, minutes. So free trial, create a free account. Now you see, I already have my email right here because I already created the free account. It's 12 months for free. Um, you, cr you, cr you click create a free account and you follow the steps. But since I already have an account, I won't be clicking create a free account right now. Um, so I'm just going to click next. Then I'm going to log in. So um, AWS Management Console. If it doesn't bring you straight to the console, it will probably just bring you, or oh, it brought me straight to the console. But regardless of where it brings you, you can always click on the search and click on and type EC2. Then you just click on EC2. This is where you want to be. Okay, look, look at the screen right now. So this is where you want to be for most of what we're going to be doing. Um, before, before we start that, you can go on Google. You type uh, AWS, um, no, let's type Tableau Server on AWS. See, Tableau Server on AWS Quick Start. You click on that. Um, so right here, you see the standalone installation, one AZ, so availability zone, uh, VPC, public subnet. You can also have a private subnet, then you install Tableau Server on the private subnet. So this is a standalone. Then the most high availability um, situation, minimum requirements is uh, three nodes. Um, this is a cluster. So you um, install the first um, node, um, which is one um, AZ. Then you pick another AZ in another region and a third AZ in another region. Then you follow the installation process on each of those nodes. But in the other two nodes, you're going to, while, while you're doing the installation, running the installation uh, file, you're just going to click uh, add another node, add another node. Then um, you make sure you have already set up your public subnet, private subnet. You don't do, um, you don't install your data on the public subnet because of um, the, the entire world can see that. So it's on private subnet, you install the Tableau server. Um, you set up your load balancer and everything. I won't be going through this right now because it's going to be quite a lengthy video. But I'm just going to show you how to achieve one of the process using the standalone process. So if you click on the view deployment guide, um, you scroll all the way to the bottom. Starting from here, step one, prepare AWS account. <laughs> all of this you have to do. Um, but I already showed you how you can create your free account, right? Then you just come down here, you click option one, standalone into a new VPC. Option two, standalone into an existing VPC. Either one is fine, but most of the time, new VPC, you click launch. It takes you straight to the stack, create stack. Step one, two, three, four, right? Very simple. 
don't change anything on this first page click next and now you're supposed to fill this out um, key, per, um, key peer name I'm going to show you how we create the key peer name um, availability zone it gives you four of them but you can also activate more on the other on the um, EC2 page that I showed you before then you fill out all of this pretty simple you leave this like this you leave this like that you put in your login information so I'm not going to be showing you this process because this is just click um, one click and that's it and it's not that complicated and it takes a lot of resources to get through this right now and it, it kind of takes long so let me show you how we go, how we can do it from the EC2 um, side of it please sign in again okay so you click on when you are on this EC2 page you click on key pairs create key pair you type a name for the key pair then instead of clicking PuTTY you click PM open SSH and click create but I don't want to create any one right now I already created this one so when you click create it's going to download a verification key file into your computer which you have to save and that file you can only download it once and that's it so make sure you save it somewhere you can always remember um, let me go back again to show you services uh, let me go to Google AWS web services you see this is the first page it brings you to you click on the search bar EC2 Amazon EC2 get started with Amazon EC2 boom it brings you right here default VPC is right here um, I already created some elastic IPs but I won't go through that right now so when you get to this page you click on instances launch instance uh, let's um, I like the Microsoft um, Windows environment so Tableau server when you want to run Tableau server for over 100 users it's best to install it in a way that it will be connected to your uh, um, active directory where all your user information is saved your group information um, so that's going to be a Windows Server right so let's try out the Windows Server 2016 base you click on select um, when you get to this page um, Tableau's recommended um, CPU and memory for a production environment is probably 32 by um, 16 CPUs by 32 um, gig of RAM however when you're deploying these days they mostly recommend let me let me search for it right now Control F M5.4 right here M5.4 large so which is 16 cores um, 64 RAM so you just click that you click next configuration instance detail so um, in other videos I'm going to be playing around with this showing you some other ways we can create a uh, mess uh, create new VPCs and create new subnets and all that to to change this a little bit um, when it comes to this information here there's something I always like putting a script I found on github github um, I want to go get the script right now so desktop mm, documents Tableau server okay open with notepad okay so this is one of the scripts I found and uh, I love using these scripts because once I post the DNS into my uh, a new tab 
it's going to tell me the private IP, public IP, and also the DNS link um, for that instance, for that node, which comes in handy when I'm working on other, configuring other multiple clusters, multiple nodes and stuff like that. So this comes in handy. So I'm just going to highlight it and Ctrl C to copy. Then I'm going to come here and I'll write on the user data. I'm going to paste that script right here. Then I'm going to click add storage. Minimum storage requirement, 100 gigs. Minimum. Um, in some environments, I do 150 to 100, but minimum is 100. Uh, delete on termination. That's really good, but if you're, if you're scared of losing a lot of content, um, data from your, uh, in case the server goes down or the instance is messing up or anything, you have to uncheck this so that you can go back into the hard drive later and look for content and stuff. But right now I want to, um, delete it on, on termination. Then we have the general purpose SSD. Um, we have the magnetic standard, which is um, just for archive data, but let's leave it at general purpose SSD. Um, not encrypted for this. Um, 100 gig is fine. Then you click on add tag. Let's add a tag. Let's call this tag name. Key is name. Value is Tableau. Tableau. Uh, AWS test. Let's say Tableau AWS test. Um, then you click on configure system group. RDP. Let's. Um, so for sources, we're going to say my API. I don't want to customize any API right now. So if you click my API, the network settings in your current location, like right now I'm in the office. So the network setting in this location will, um, be where the, like you can see right there. So that's the current, uh, my IP address for this low, um, office location. And it's, I, I set this whole thing up on the VPN. So, um, that IP address is probably not the exact one. Um, let's put a note, allow RDP on Office API, Office IP. Then let's add another one. Let's do HTTP. HTTP right here. Um, let's do my IP again, uh, allow HTTP. The reason why you want to put descriptions many of the times is so that you can know when you're going through logs and going through the back end, you can know what happened, what this is related to, like why this port is connected to HTTP and all that. So it's good to, um, which IP address is it related to allow HTTP on office. IP then let's do HTTPS HTTPS let's do my IP again allow HTTPS on office IP so I think those, that is fine for now and Create new security group, that's fine. You can also use existing ones, but let's create a brand new one. Um, review and launch. You see, instance configuration is not eligible for free use HTA. So since we are using all this uh, six, 64 gigabyte of memory, 16 CPUs, okay, so you know that this thing can never be free. So since you're using a free account, right? So once you've done, you're done practicing and everything, just delete, terminate the instance. And I'll show you how to do that also. So, um, 
on this page I just look through it everything is fine just click launch so now when you click launch it says choose an existing key, um, key pair um, choose an existing create a new key pair proceed with a, a key pair let's just use the one I already created just so that I don't waste a lot of time then I acknowledge launch instance so the instance are now launching view instance so instance state running status checks initializing so for status check at some point it's going to be it's going to say um, it's going to show you that it's complete by maybe two by two or three by three or four by four whatever but it's going that's what we're going to use to know if this is done um, status check monitor see if you click this you drag this up like this you can monitor the CPU utilization disk reads disk writes or you, you can monitor the entire instance performance right from here status check field instance all that right from here then the tag that's the tag we have right there so check status these are the two statuses that are checking right now system status check instance status check so once it shows that those two are complete then we're, we're set so this is the public IP um, public DNS so let me open a new a notepad let me open a new notepad I'm going to copy this you see those two files right there it says copy clipboard I'm going to paste it DNS I'll click paste then let's open a new tab let me close this stack thing I don't want to go through that this today let's open a new tab and copy that DNS in there to see if that script we installed a long time ago is working but it might not show up let me close that for now it might not show up until this this says status complete so let's wait until the status is complete then we're going to set we're going to check it let me close this Let me refresh to see if it's still initializing. So one of them has been passed. Then instance check. We're going to check that to see if that will be passed as well. It's going to uh, it's going to be done pretty soon. So if you ask me this is the fastest way to deploy a um, EC2 instance so you see right now it says status check um, two by two okay so you see both of them says they've been passed so now let's check that DNS right now right put DNS you see what we did before you see that that script I posted it would tell me the private IP public IP and the DNS so for this instance this information is quite useful and you're going to find out in much later videos that I will be making on this channel so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click right here and get Windows password um, no no let's 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 let me see let me click connect so on that connect I'll click get password KPI okay so it wants me to check the KPI um, pair so I'm going to choose the one I I created before you know I told you it's going to save a file to your computer and this is the file that it saved 
and I chose PEM for SSH, um, not the one for PuDi. And I click open. Then I click uh, decrypt password, and that's it right there. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy this. Copy. I'm going to save it in that notepad. Um, but let me make sure I copied the password correctly. You see the username is administrator, right? So I'm going to copy copy to clipboard. And I'm going to control V. Okay, so the password is about the same. So um, I'm going to click close. And once I'm done with that right now, right, I'm going to come to my remote desktop. Okay, guys, I had to cut down that video because I noticed the, the method I was using to record was not showing. So now I downloaded band I cam to see if this would, this would work perfectly. And it looks like it's working. So I terminated that first one. So this second one is running on availability zone US w, um, um, 2C. So and you can see that status is checked. So I'm going to right click right now. I'm going to click uh, um, get Windows password. It's going to ask me for my. It's going to ask me for my key pair file, which is this. I'm going to click open. Then I'm going to click decrypt password. Um, then I'm going to copy all of this into a blank notepad. That's the blank notepad right there. Um, just let me make sure that the password I'm copying is right. So I'm just going to copy the password only. And I'm going to come here and paste that password. So now that I have the password, I'm going to check if that script we put in there is working like just like the last time uh, I'm going to open a new tab I'll do this okay script is working public IP uh, private IP so back to EC2 um, if you go into let me scroll this up a little bit the monitor screen you can see different um, data for monitor description different description information so now I'm going to just check to see if this is recording still okay still recording I'm going to go into remote remote desktop I'm going to go to my notepad I'll copy that DNS control copy. I will put paste it in the remote desktop. Click connect. The now is asking for my username and password. Username is admin. Administrator. The password is is this temporary password that we have here, which is kind of a lot. But I'm just going to copy it and paste it in the remote desktop I'll click OK then this is just asking is that a great name just click yes and you can see my EC2 instance is loading up right away so right now it's asking for network permissions just click yes because you want to have internet access uh, refresh come to the search type password type it slow because this is just a new instance loading up uh, it's not it's not bringing out this subjection
Let's go to control panel. Uh, let's do it from settings. I'm sorry. Let's, yes, let's use the modern settings. This is the best way to get it done. Click on account. Sign in options. Change password. Then paste in the current password since you still copied it from. Yeah, then put in your new password. This is your. This is your admin user. I am so make sure you remember your username and password this is the person that can install the server set up everything so now that the password is changed the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Internet Explorer uh, use recommended security pack okay the thing with this Internet Explorer is it has so many security features it's not even going to let us download so right click on the um, tab right there click main bar click tools click internet options click security make sure internet is selected click custom level then scroll all the way down to downloads click enable enable click ok click yes click ok then now you're going to go to Google click ok it's going to start asking you to add all these websites google.com just add it uh, it's going to ask for this also click this click add click close uh, yeah. click add click close I could disable all this but let's just get through this mm, no need for this just click close right and you type Chrome download close download now yes okay download click save click run let me make sure Chrome is running. Let me go back to that my main screen. It's still recording, so that's perfect. Let me go back to the instance. So guess uh let's go into settings. Type default. make default browser Chrome Google Chrome then you click exit on Google just go to google.com let's minimize that let me close this I'm going to close that so back to Chrome 
So now you're going to type Tableau Server Download. You see right here, 2020.2. Download Tableau Server 2022 right there. That is the latest. There you see Tableau Server 64 bit 2020.2.3. 20, That's the latest. And you can see it's downloading right there. So, like I said before, this is how you install Tableau Server on EC2 instance. Uh, we're doing the single node install all on Tableau uh, but you can always follow the same process for a new instance to increase the cluster um, so it has downloaded and now we're going to open it okay so this is the .exe file that Tableau server um, download it so we're going to run that I've read and accepted the terms you click next this is the default path you click next um, you see like I was saying just now so since we're just cre creating the very first initial node you click create new type of server installation but if you want to add additional nodes to um, create like an I availability cluster environment um, on those additional nodes, you click Add Additional Node to Existing Tableau Server Cluster. So, but for this one, we're just going to do Create New Tableau Server Installation. Click Install. So now it's going to install this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to install. So it says setup will now configure Tableau Server. This may take a few minutes. Please wait. So it's about to install it. Then after it's installed, it's going to just take us to TSM uh, admin setup, um, where it's going to ask for the it's going to ask for the um, product key and all that. Um, TSM is new. Ever since Tableau 2018, uh, when this was launched, um, so back in the day you use um, Tab Admin, but now it's um, TSM commands and all that. And I really enjoy TSM because it's it's even much easier actually. You can see the status of each. Uh, each part of the server you're deploying and you can configure it easily using TSM let me just go back to make sure all of this is recording it is recording so go back into the instance Microsoft doesn't shift with uh, it doesn't ship with the like Windows um, Windows um, operating system doesn't ship with inbuilt recording feature anymore. Um, the ones that are really good um, like this one. So I was using a version that stops it from recording the instance. Well, this new software I just downloaded records everything I'm doing in the instance so you can see every single step I take.
installation takes quite a few minutes it's not it's not as long as TSM setup so it's going to be done in two minutes On the top right corner, you can see the host name, instance ID, public IP address, private IP address, instance size, the one we chose before, the availability zone, like I explained to you. Um, you can choose different zones from different regions for each of your instance. So it gives you a good uh, config um, detail right there. Okay, so you see it just launched TSM, Tableau Serv um, Services Manager. So now the login information is the same as your admin. And the password is the same. The new password we set when we launched the system. You don't necessarily have to save it. You see in the URL right here, you see that's the host name. The same host name as this one right here is what you see right there. So it's asking for the product key. Um, I don't have any, so we're just going to click Start Tableau Server Trial. Click it again just to make sure it goes through. Okay, so now it's going to ask for some few information. My school email. organization industry education department IT role let's just put student region information city Postal code. I have the postal code opened on down the terminal. I just went to Google. I want to see what the zip code is. 79016. And let me use the opportunity to see if it's still recording. Yes, it is. Country is United States. State is Texas. Then register. After you register, you see right here, it says Setup um, Identity Store. You only have one time to pick which one you want. 
I uh, my rule of thumb is if you have less than 100 users um, just do local um, because um, local authentication um, local store and everything um, it's very easy to manage just upload all of them via CSV into the system and it's really straightforward but if you have a thousand plus users thousands of users of the tableau system then you can just click active directory but in this case i'm just going to click local just to speed things up um, product product usage data you can definitely send product usage data to tableau um, include samples um, since this is just a test environment it's nice that we include some samples so we can see how it looks like then you click initialize And by the way, the gateway port is always um, default to port 80. SSL is um, um, default to 443 port. So this setup can take uh, quite a while. Um, this is where the initial setup time, this is when it takes a long time to to actually install but since we chose local and we chose we did things in a way that it will kind of speed up um, I believe it should go faster so let we will see um, but I'm just going to cut the video here because I know it can take up to 10 to 20 minutes just to get done with this part of the video so let me just cut the video right here I'm just going to minimize the display and stop the recording. Now I'm going to click continue. So now it's asking me create a server administrator account to access Tableau server. Um, if I clicked Active Directory earlier on, um, that's where I'm going to have to create the users, the administrator account and all of that. But since I click local, now I can do it right here username let me just say um, or let me use one you would recognize display name password okay new administrator account so this person is the one that can create the users. If you go come down to users, add new user, new user, import from file, CSV. You see, you can import up to thousands of users using CSV, but that might not be nice, but maybe a few hundreds. Um, groups, you can create the groups right here as well. Just create the groups. Um, Schedules, these are the numerous type of schedules that you can set up. You can also create custom schedules. Jobs, if you have your extract, um, extract refresh, um, subscriptions, alerts, everything show up right here. And different tasks. We can have a separate video to go through that. Um, if you click explore right now, this is the Tableau sample. You know when I clicked sample the um, other time? This is the sample project that was imported into the Tableau server. Uh, just click on regions, click on one of the views, one of the workbooks, um, open a view. It's kind of loading up right now. Hmm, you see? And new features, um, you can edit right on Tableau. Um, but I'm not going to go through all of this. Uh, just go home um, go to status can see all the everything is checked up and you can check for different statuses background backgrounder um, performance views um, different things just go to settings Enable Axe Data, so you could just ask the data rather than create the workbooks and views yourself.
Tableau Mobile already already enabled. The licenses, you know. Let me see. Since this is the free version, they give us um, creator license, 25 creator license. This is a trial version. Extensions, you can add extensions, customizations, your Tableau banner by default. You can customize, add the sites. You see, let's go back home. This is the home page. When you add a banner, you add a comment, a tag to show up here. Recommendations. Tableau catalog isn't fully configured. TSM maintenance metadata service enable. So once you run this in CMD, right, or terminal, it's going to just enable this uh, metadata add on. Maintenance metadata. So let me. And you can, as an admin, I can create another admin user. Okay, I can create another admin user, but this is not how to use uh, Tableau Server. This is just how to set up. This is the video that will show you how to set it up. So right here, you can see everything is checked. You click refresh. Everything is checked. Background there is still this is busy right now, but this is checked. Maintenance. And send server crash reports directly to Tableau. All of that. Generate log file snapshot of what how the system is working right now. Just click generate. You just set it up right here, and it's just gonna generate it for you. Include Postgres database, which is the back end. Include recent crash dump, crash dump if if you want to. Let's remove that. Just click generate and it's just going to generate right there. You see? Hope this doesn't take too long. So that's the TSM. So we have it all running on the EC2 instance. So um, you can change, you can play around with the settings, you can do a lot of things, but this video is not necessarily for that. Um, let's let's see if we can find the the path. Program files, uh, video, within items, program data. Let me see Tableau, Tableau server data. TV server, then files, then backup. You can see if you set up a TSM maintenance backup, you see right here. Then log archives, right here. The one, the one that is that is just running right now. Then um, site exports. I love site exports. TSM um, site exports uh, is just fabulous. Can restore your old site, you know. So, if you come to logs, different type of log files. And I believe that is just about it. And you see, it succeeded, it's created configuration. This is the present configuration we have for this um, single node. One application server um, for queries and visualization, right there. Background there for extracts to you can increase them. You know, on you could even add all those extracts on the other nodes that you're going to be adding. Uh, TSM controller license service. Um, after when you want to add those additional, um, after you create those instances for those additional nodes and you create and you and you run this Tableau server um, .exe installation file then at some point you're going to have to put this bootstrap file in that process to connect all of them together to this initial install 
so it's it's not that complicated let me see I hope I'm still recording perfect I'm still recording okay uh, let me sign up go back in admin you see brings me right in let me say I want to create a new admin user new user username display name password email optional site site role let's give him server administrator or I am the server administrator so let me give him site administrator I don't want to save it. You see, right there. If I log out, sign up, I can. I can just log in as log in as in. So um, let's let's even see. Uh, see MD. So I'm going to do. TSM. That's you. It's already on administrator, but let's just do that. It's in the password, and now TSM. Can get the status of what is going on. You can see running, 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 background uh, running, running. It's a server, it's the engine, faster. Nothing really going on on this. This is just completely MC. Only the sample data is here. But that's that's what it that's what it all is. You can even run TSM. TSM stop. up in server you come here it's going to stop all the services every single service is going to be stopped see it will log us out of the tableau server so I believe that's all we're going to cover for today um, thank you so much for watching um, So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I believe I don't need to click record since I'm already recording so you can see me. Thank you for watching the channel. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to making more videos. I'm going in depth on all the functionalities on Tableau server, how to add a user, how to add a group, functional groups, um, creating projects, uh, creating um, um, uploading the, the flow charts, uh, uploading the data sources, extracts, and um, workbooks into Tableau. So I'm just going to build on this content. Um, but right now, you guys understand how to create this um, EC2 instance, how to set up Tableau server, um, single node, and uh, um, definitely maybe I'll upload another video on how you can create the whole cluster. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.